Hey everyone, in this video we will see how these guys are making the cement concrete pavement and we'll try to get some knowledge out of it and we'll see how well these guys are doing. So let's dive into it. So the foundation work has already been done and half of the road is already constructed and in this video you'll see only a small section of this road construction. So right now these guys are putting the material into this concrete mixer and this concrete mixer is mixing cement, sand, aggregates and water. And I asked one of these guys to tell me like what is the proportion of everything. So he said like 9 is to 8 is to 9 and I didn't understand like what he's trying to say what, what 9 and what 8. So what I thought is like 9 times sand, 8 times cement and 9 times aggregates. So these guys already know how many times they have to put the material into this concrete mixer. So while I was looking around, I saw that 43 grade of cement is being used for this construction and medium sized aggregates are used. One thing I really liked about these guys is their coordination. Like everyone is working at the same time. If one guy is making the concrete batch, then the other guy is spreading it at the same time and the third guy is smoothing the previous batch and the work is going on simultaneously. After pouring the concrete on the ground, this guy comes and spread the concrete all over the surface. Spreading is very necessary to put the concrete in every corner on the ground. We don't want any corner to be left without concrete. And after spreading, it looks like this. As I told you about these guys like if one guy is spreading the concrete then the other guy is smoothing the previous batch or doing another thing which really speeds up the construction process. So after spreading the concrete the vibrator machine is started and this guy is using the vibrator machine at various points on this pavement. So vibrator is very necessary for the compaction of concrete as the heavy particles goes down and the lighter particles comes up which also helps in getting a smooth surface. Now these guys are adding a mild steel section at the end of the slab because here the slab ends and this will act as a transverse joint for the other slab. You can know more about joints in my other video called Joints in Rigid Pavements. I will add its link in the video description. So after cutting down the section, tamping of the surface is done by hands and tamping is also necessary to make the surface more even as there should be no aggregate exposed to the pavement surface. And it also helps in further smoothing of this pavement surface. After tamping, smoothing is done of the surface with the help of this wooden float. This guy is making the surface more even with the help of this wooden float and it will give a good finish to the pavement surface. They have also made a speed bump in the middle of this road for slow vehicular movements and you will also see like there's there are no double bars or no reinforced bars are used in the slab construction because very less traffic movement is made on the street and even though this pavement is not reinforced with steel bars this pavement can work for a really long time. This is a view of previous slab section. You can see how well it's been constructed. You can also see a brick lining on the edge of this pavement which will also be covered with mortar later on. And while other guys are constructing the further section, this old man is making grooves on the road for frictional purposes. So after pouring a lot of concrete at the same place, the tires of the concrete mixer got stuck in the concrete and they used this technique to take it out of the concrete. So the final view of this road kind of looks like this.
um, while walking on this road, you can see the speed bump they made earlier. And after walking further, you'll see the brick lining you saw earlier has been covered in mortar. And this is a transverse joint they made with the mild steel section. And here they have beautifully joined the cement concrete pavement with this bituminous road by giving a very smooth slope so that the vehicle will not feel any discomfort. And here is how it looks like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.